that's good, Luke. You don't know what you're missing. That maple syrup and that molasses and those warm apples and spices, they're so good. Wow. That's the best, buddy. And you're the best, buddy. Today I'm making a spelt rosemary apple pancake. And even though we're coming off a week of really warm weather here in LA, I can feel it. Fall is in the air and I'm craving those warming spices of fall like cinnamon and ginger and cardamom. And what better way to have it than in a pancake with warming apples. And I'm even going to add a little molasses. It just makes it so earthy and using my favorite spelt flour, of course. So let's get started because I can't wait to eat these. It's super easy. Let's turn the pan on. And then, of course, the first thing we have to do is mix our flax egg. So I'm just going to put the flax seed and the water together and give it a little stir around. That's looking good. And the next thing we do is we take our vinegar and add it to our soy milk. We want that to be a buttermilk. Okay, now it's easy. Dry ingredients, wet ingredients, and then we mix them together. I've got my apple diced very finely. It doesn't need to be, but then you get the chance that the apple chunks will melt a little. So let's put the dry ingredients together. Of course, we've got spelt flour, sugar, You can use coconut sugar. I'm using sucanat sugar today because I love that molasses flavor. Okay, we've got some baking powder. And now let's whisk that around. And to that, we're gonna add our spices. Cinnamon, ginger, cardamom. and fresh rosemary from the garden. I'm not making a big batch today, so you can double this recipe easily. Okay, now we do our soy milk. See how nice and thick it is after we add that vinegar? Yogurt. Molasses. Wow, I love that color when you add the molasses in there. Okay, now we're gonna add our flax egg and our vanilla. Time to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. So we just need to mix this together. It doesn't have to be over mixed. You just want to bring it all together and then you're going to fold in the apples. The idea of these pancakes are to make them like little cakes. I brought out my little molds like this because then I can make them small and kind of thick. Literally like pancakes. See, that's how you want that. You don't want it too much like a batter. You want it a little bit thicker. Time to add in our apples. So we can try one like this. You want to be patient and let these cook because they're very thick and they're more like cakes. So I turn it down and I be really patient with it and don't be afraid you're gonna burn them because they really need to cook through. So it takes some time. 
And if you don't have any molds like this, that's fine. We'll do a couple without just so you can see. Let me flip this over. Smelling really good. I smell the apple and the cinnamon already. Now you guys know I didn't add any oil in here, but when you're cooking them in the pan, you could either do it in a nonstick skillet or just add some sprays of oil to your pan. And just know that you have to use a little oil if you're using a cast iron pan. And now let's try some without the mold. And just make it into a thick round cake like that. Without the molds a little easier because they're not gonna be quite as tall. Patience. Try to wait and see the bubbles on the top. That's always a sign that the batter's cooking from the inside out. I see them forming right now. Look how delicious that's looking. I'm gonna keep them in there because they're thick and they need to cook all the way through and I wanna keep them warm. Actually, it's almost as thick as the other one. Fantastic. Let's do one more. This recipe makes four good sized pancakes. That last one's a little bigger, but still, this would be about four pancakes. So you could serve these up any way you want. You could slice bananas on the top and drizzle with maple syrup. But honestly, those flavors inside are enough. So I just drizzle with maple syrup. You can put a little pat of butter on the top. It just looks good for the photograph. So that's what I'm gonna do. It just feels good when you eat something that looks beautiful and you know that it's made out of whole food ingredients. So I love to make my photographs and my food look really beautiful. Okay, Luke decided to join me for the taste test, but let's give it a try. See those chunks of apples? Yes. Mmm. Wow. I taste that molasses and the spices and the spelt flour, that earthiness. Oh my gosh, look at that apple. I don't want to miss that. Have you ever done pancakes at dinner? I have. Breakfast on a Saturday, brunch, anytime. Fantastic. Wow. Anything with maple syrup is good, but these pancakes and the maple syrup and the molasses inside, oh my gosh. Mmm. Wow. Fantastic, and the thickness of them is perfect. But honestly, you can see you didn't really need the mold. Just do it without, it's easier. Okay, last bite, you guys. Be sure to watch my other pancake video, and please subscribe if you haven't already.